Good afternoon, friends. Miss Quast here reading you an Easter classic called The Easter Egg. And this is by author-illustrator Jan Brett. Now, if you have not read Jan Brett's stories before, you need to start right now. She is an amazing talent and her writing is wonderful and her pictures have so much detail that you could spend a lot of time looking at them. Her books are gorgeously illustrated and there's all sorts of hidden details in there. So um, a shout out to Tumbleweed Toys. I was really stressed because I didn't have this book. My school burned down in September and this was a new favorite that I had found last year. And now with COVID-19 and us all being quarantined to our homes, I didn't have this book. So I went online and bought it and they delivered it right to my house. So if you have a chance to support a great local company, um, I would really recommend Tumbleweed Toys. So here starts our story, The Easter Egg by Jan Brett. Children, children, spring is here. Time to start on my first ever Easter egg, Hoppy said. Each year, the bunny who decorated the winning egg got to help the Easter rabbit hide the eggs on Easter morning. And you can see Jan Brett's known for these side panels with lots of details. So they're in Rabbit Town, and there's the sign of spring with the little robin. Oh, the pictures are just gorgeous. Hoppy had been dreaming about being that bunny all year long. Now it was time to get started. Everywhere Hoppy looked, rabbits were working on dazzling eggs. I need an amazing idea, he thought. Hoppy spotted Flora Bunny planting spring wildflowers in her egg. The Easter rabbit will love those colorful flowers, he thought, and started picking flowers for his egg. Here's a basket for your flowers, Hoppy, Flora said. So you can see on the side she's planting. This is this bunny's decorating it with beautiful colors. This one's putting seashells onto hers. And there's the robin. So much to see. Chop, chop, scrape, scrape. Hoppy spied Buster Birch carving a magnificent wooden egg. I wish I had some wood for my egg, he wished out loud. Here you go, Hoppy, Buster Birch said, and he put a smooth round piece of wood in Hoppy's basket. Thank you, Buster, Hoppy said. This bunny's doing a dipped egg. This one's affixing all sorts of beads to make a wonderful pattern. Hoppy was hopping along when the smell of sweetness led him out of the woods and straight to the chocolate egg that Aunt Sassafras was decorating with creamy frosting squiggles and bows. Hello, Hoppy, she said, and she put some chocolate squares in his basket. Hippity hop, Hoppy exclaimed. I'll make the Easter rabbit a chocolate egg so sweet it will make his whiskers tingle. Those look like little peeps silver balls on that one. Here's the chocolate egg. She's fusing them together. It looks like the robin might have found a mate. There's a bit of a dance going on up there. Beautiful pussy willows all along the frame of the illustrations. When Hoppy saw Granny Irene's decorating one of her fabulous story eggs, First, she traced the design on the egg with a special tool. Then she dipped the egg in pots of yellow, green, orange, and red dye, adding to the design each time. Hoppy couldn't believe his eyes. I'll never make an egg that beautiful, he told Granny Irene. She smiled. Try, she said, giving, one of her, giving him one of her special tools. So all the rabbits in this community are very generous. Oh, and now the robins are building a nest. Hoppy was hopping by Hans van der Rabbit's garden when he spotted an extraordinary egg. Hans was painting a portrait of the Easter rabbit so real that he looked alive. Fantastic, Hoppy exclaimed. Thank you, Hoppy, Hans said. Why don't you make a painting on your egg? He gave Hoppy pots of paint and a fine brush. Oh, this rabbit's adding stripes like his coat. She has polka dots like on her coat.
As Hoppy bounced along, a loud boing nearly knocked him off his feet. It was a whirling, twirling, mechanical egg. Whoa, Hoppy said. That's an unusual egg. Would you like to make one? Roberto asked. Hoppy tried hard, but the harder he tried, the more parts and pieces piled up around him. <sighs> Thank you, Roberto, he sighed, but I think I better make the egg that is just right for me. Oh, this bunny has an echidna on them. An echidna is an Australian animal and a platypus, another Australian animal. These are pitcher plants too. Oh, the robin's sitting on something on that nest. Hoppy hopped back to the woods and lay down under a tall tree to think. Making a beautiful egg is harder than I imagined, he thought. I guess I don't have to win. I just want to make an egg that I'm proud of. All the bunnies are still hard at work. Oh, look at this frisky squirrel coming over to try to steal a little egg that Mother Robin is sitting on. Suddenly, the woods rang with the squawking of birds sounding an alarm. Mother Robin swooped down, calling wildly, as if she couldn't decide where to go. An egg had tumbled out of Mother Robin's nest. Inside the perfect blue egg was a baby robin that needed its mother to keep it warm until it hatched. Oh, it's tumbled down from the nest. Luckily, it landed on some soft moss. Here comes Hoppy. This rabbit's doing weaving to create an egg. This one's doing painting a silhouette. That almost looks like the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. He has a watch and some spectacles on. Hoppy knew what he had to do. He sat down carefully and covered the blue egg with his soft, warm fur. I'll take care of you the best I can, he whispered. Relieved, Mother Robin chirped and settled down on her other two eggs. Look at how gently he's sitting right on that egg. While all the other rabbits are still working really hard. Ooh, this one's carved it from stone. And they're polishing it. This one's lighting up with stars for the night sky. I wonder what if Hoppy's going to be able to complete his egg now that he's sitting on the robin's egg. Hoppy never left the robin's egg. If it was sunny and warm, he carefully turned the egg in its nest of moss. If it was rainy and cold, he kept the egg covered and dry. At night, wild animals passed by. Hoppy crouched down and stayed hidden in the ferns. Often he heard strange noises coming from above, but Hoppy didn't run away. He's being very brave, especially for a little rabbit to sit out while a fox is on the prowl. Every day the rabbits worked on their eggs, tadpoles turned into frogs, buds swelled into leaves, and Easter came closer and closer. Finally, it was time for the rabbits to take their eggs to the glen. They had forgotten all about Hoppy, who was quietly sitting on the blue egg under the tall tree in the woods. Early the next morning, the rabbits waited for the Easter Bunny. Suddenly, a beautiful wagon rolled toward them out of the mist. Oh, and it has some very proud hens bringing them. They all have their names on the front. Poppy, Fleur, Rose. Who's driving? And stopped. The Easter Bunny stepped down from the wagon and admired the decorated eggs one by one. And look what's hatched. You have brought me the most beautiful eggs in the world, but a very special one is not here, he told them. The rabbits were puzzled. Whose egg could it be? Who do you think the Easter Bunny's talking about? All the rabbits look quite confused. And Hoppy's there cuddling now. You can see that the bird has dried off. He's getting those fluffy baby feathers and Hoppy's making sure he's nice and warm. Fill my wagon with your wonderful eggs, he said. When I return, I will show it to you. And he disappeared into the woods. 
There he goes. Well, oh, look at all the beautiful colors. Oh, Hoppy's lifting up the robin and you can see mother and father, the other babies are born and they're feeding them worms and mother's looking down. I wonder if he'll put them up into the nest. And if you look closely, the pussy willows have changed and they're turning into soft little bunnies. He came back with Hoppy looking scruffy and bedraggled. Hoppy has an amazing egg to be proud of, the Easter rabbit told them. He has kept Mother Robin's egg warm and safe until her baby bird hatched and she could take care of it. The Easter rabbit placed the empty blue shell in the place of honor atop the wagon. Now they were ready to go. Look at he's patched it all back together, even though it's cracked. So he's really, really, thankful that Hoppy, look at how bedraggled he looks, he's got little moss and fur and little brambles all over him and he took care of that little robin without any care for his own place in this competition. The rabbits cheered for the egg that had surprised them all. It's our best Easter ever, Hoppy, they shouted. Then the brave little bunny and the Easter rabbit rode off together to hide the eggs for the girls and boys to find on Easter morning. I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did. And again, if you don't have any Jan Brett books, go out and get some. They're such a treat for the eyes and the storytelling is really magical. Thanks for listening.